look a little bit like Kate Bosworth, just a little bit? Maybe. Maybe I'll ask Jeffrey Ma what he thinks when he comes to sit down and chat with me about the movie 21, and he's also the inspiration for the book, Bringing Down the House, all about counting cards in Vegas and winning big. So stick around where I get all the details on how to win big in Vegas without really trying. This is Kristen Bentz, the talented blonde from Main Street. Back in those days, for sure, they didn't know that we were card counting, so they just saw us as people who were betting hundreds of thousands of dollars, and you get the greatest treatment everywhere. I mean, I went from being this MIT student who had a hard time getting into an Irish bar on St. Patrick's Day to this guy that could get into everywhere, you know, limo service, two-floor suites, you know, VIP at every place, Mr. Ma, thank you, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, it was, it's just a surreal experience. Yeah, I think there's a couple of big lessons that I learned from sort of the blackjack days. The first one is how important teamwork and trusting your teammates are. I mean, we were dealing with, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash. And so, you know, if you hand someone $100,000 and say, hey, go to Vegas and win me some money, there's got to be a high amount of trust there. Not only that, since we work as a team, we're constantly relying on members of our team to be good at what they did and to be able to, you know, uh, do their job properly. And I've worked in a bunch of different startups, and when you start small, you do everything yourself. Then you've got to hire people to come in and do their job. And if you don't actually trust them to do their job effectively, you can't be a successful organization. The final sort of lesson is all about sort of trusting your model or things like that. I mean, with Blackjack, we had a model that we knew worked mathematically. There was a weekend where in two hands, I lost $100,000. And I could have easily given up at that point, but I kept going because I believed in what we were doing. And rather than being focused on the short-term results, I believed in the model. And I ended up winning $70,000 for that weekend. So I battled all the way back. It was all because I really believed in sort of what we were doing. I think that the whole Blackjack experience taught me that I could go in a casino by myself, and sure, I could do everything myself. But really what worked was having a lot of other people working with me because it made us a lot more powerful. So the idea is like, oh, I can start a company on my own, but if I bring other people to do other jobs, we can be a much more successful organization.